The next thing I would like to do is display a list of tags. So we have one tag at this point in time and that tag is getting started. We can display that on screen inside of this other column by doing a very similar thing as before. So last time we used get posts and we put this inside of a section. We then displayed this with a H3 and then looped over this with an LI and a UL. Try and think how we might do the same thing with tags. So go ahead and instead of getting posts, get tags and display these on screen in the same way as we did before. So this UL and LI inside of the LI should be our tags. I'll give you a little hint instead of title for the tag name, it's actually name. Let's go ahead and implement that ourselves. So what we need to do is start off with a get call and we want to get the tags and we're going to limit this to 10 and we will call this tags. We'll close off our get call and inside of our get call, we'll have a section. That section will have a H3 of tags. Then we'll iterate over an LI by having a for each and we'll say for each tags. We can even say as tag. So we can say for each tag. We can have an LI, which encompasses a, a with the class of tag. And we'll put the href to URL and the text of our anchor equal to name. If we save our file, you can now see that we have a list of tags at the bottom here with getting started. If we select getting started, it takes us to all the posts that have the getting started tag. If we were to add other tags to our application, these would all display inside of the footer. As we have a two column layout, if we were to make this bigger, you could see that it starts off being on top of one another, but as the screen gets bigger, it takes up two columns.